story starts some years ago in the land of Israel. The Jewish people were ruled by Herod the Great, but all were subject to the iron power of Rome. I am Herod, king of all the lands. Now it is the ways of our Roman masters that a count be made of all the people who dwells in my lands, so that we may see what taxes must be paid. Lord Chamberlain, call for my scribe. Scribe, scribe, where's the Herod's king scribe? Oh, there you are. Now take this down and make sure my trumpeters and my soldiers ride for tonight to proclaim throughout the Lord land that all my subjects must forthwith leave their homes and go to have their names and occupation registered by the officer of the law. Everyone sit Yes, everyone. So send for my soldiers and tell them to look sharp. Look sharp, look sharp. Hear everyone, hear. It is commanded by our Lord, King Herod, that all his subjects shall forthwith live and go to be counted and named, so that the Romans will know how many subjects are under their command. Men, women, and children must all go to be counted. Hear everyone. Oh, we hear, we hear. But if we leave the house, who will branch the corn? <laughs> Mean the pots. Why the wall? Feed the chicken! The Romans always want something. More money, more tasks, more people to work for them. Look out, here comes a soldier. Hurry along there, please do. Write in a line, please. What's your name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth, occupation? Pot maker. Pot maker. Name of husband? Saul. Elizabeth, any children? Twelve children. Right. Next, please. Name? Elizabeth. How do you spell it? I don't know. Okay. Occupation? Schoolmaster. All right, pass on, please. Your name? Joseph. Place residence? Nazareth. Occupation? Carpenter. Wife's name? Oh, Mary. Any children? No children yet. Oh, pass along then, please. Nazareth, it's a long way, friends. Have you no mule? No, we must walk and take many days and we... My wife is worried. Why don't you rest in the inn? Your advice is good, friend. We'll go down and ask. In keeper, in keeper! Who's that knocking on the door at this time of night? Wearing travelers in keeper asking for a bed. There is no room here. No room. But my wife is weary! Well, there is a stable, warm and dry. You can go there. Thank you. Yes. Uh, oh, Joseph, baby's coming. Oh, really? Yes, really. Mary gave birth to a baby boy, Jesus. Sometime later, Joseph and Mary were still in Bethlehem, but Herod the king was entertaining some unexpected visitors from the east. You are welcome in my court. You have traveled from far countries and seems to have brought many gifts with you. Your majesty is most kind and our journey has ended with love and our story strange. Forbid we have led in guides in heaven. A guide? In the heavens? A star, your majesty, a star so bright that you have never seen it before. And you think the star has led you to me? 
Oh no, sire, not to you. We have studied for years in our ancient books that they have told us that one day, about this time, the king would be very distant to rule the world. Rule the world? A star is guiding us and we do not know where. All we know is that the king is a child, still very young, born in humble circumstances to poor parents. But we know that one day he will rule the world. The king is a child and dwells nearby. Noble honors, you are weary and must rest. Indeed, kind sire, we're most grateful. We swear your honor. Do you hear that, soldier? I hear it, your majesty. What do you think, soldier? I think, sir, that I should follow the star and I should follow the king. I think I should travel with your three visitors. What do you think you do then? I think I should kill him. I think, soldier, it would be wisest to seek all male children under two years old and... Kill them? Do not delay, soldier. I live in the visitor's leave and will follow them. I don't trust Herod, who wanted to keep us in a palace. He is jealous of this new king who told him off. I fear me do the child harm. We must be careful. I can help feeling we are being followed. We must make haste to find the infant king. At least if someone is trying to follow us. I agree. Let's find a spot to hide for a while that will throw them off our scent. be far now. The star seems to be over. I can hear donkey braying over there. I thought I could hear an ox lowing. There seem to be a people over in that stable, a star shining. I can hear a shepherd inside. He brought gifts. Gold because he is a king and rain. Mir because he is a man and he will suffer and die. Intense because we'll be God's priest forever. At night, while Joseph and Mary were sleeping, an angel visited them with a message. Joseph, wake up! Joseph, I have a message for you. The child is in danger. Herod's soldiers seek to find and kill him for Herod's fears that a child will reign in his stead. Your journeys are still not over. Take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt. There you will be safe. Do not delay, Joseph, for Herod's soldiers are very near. And so, although Herod's soldiers killed without pity any young children they found in Bethlehem that night, Mary, Joseph, and the young Jesus escaped. Thus, God cared for his only son, that he might live to show to all men and women the wonder and power of God. Let us give him glory and thank Almighty God that in his wisdom he found a way to save mankind from sin and death. <laughs>